Hey, Michael. Um, did you have, what was the explanation that you got from the officials um, in the third quarter when Nicola uh, got his flagrant two? Uh, yeah, well, I think one of you guys should request to ask that question to one of the officials. I did. Uh, so I'd love to hear your answer. <laughs> but uh, I don't know. I think it was something along the lines of wind up, malicious intent, some other mumbo jumbo. But obviously, uh, you know, you lose the MVP. Uh, it's going to make it even harder to try to stave off elimination. Um, the guys that were still in the game, the last three, the third, and the fourth quarter, Tremendous effort, tremendous fight, uh, which was uh, great to see. And we hung around. You know, overall, very disappointing uh, to end the series, um, getting swept at home. Uh, but as I told our players, Mike, um, this loss should sting. Um, no one likes to lose. But when you find some time to reflect on the season, remember all the great things that we did this year. Uh, and and I, I don't think people fully understand us even won in that first round series, how remarkable that was without a starting backcourt in place. So uh, I'm not going to allow this series to define the season. And uh, obviously, hopefully next year, we can find a way to stay healthy and be better and, uh, and see where we can go. Katie Wingy, Altitude Sports. Hey, Coach. Um Congrats on a great season, first and foremost, I guess. But what was communicated, if anything, when Jokic did get ejected? Did you say anything to the guys? And how proud are you of the way that that almost lit a fire in them to keep fighting till the end? Yeah, I'll be honest. Okay, well, th and thank you for your kind words. Uh, I'm not really sure uh, what Nicola said to the, his teammates, to be very honest. Um, but I will say to your latter point, uh, I thought it was tremendous uh, for the guys that were out there uh, because, you know, no Jamal, no PJ, Nicole gets ejected. You're down three games to zero. Really easy just to kind of let go of that rope and give in. Um, so I couldn't be more proud of our group uh, for, for, for fighting and giving ourselves a chance. Uh, I think with eight minutes to go in the fourth quarter, it was a four point game. Uh, could just never get over the hump, but uh, it certainly wasn't for a lack of effort, which uh, you have to admire and respect from our group. So uh, tough loss, Katie, tough way to go out. I was thinking about this today. You know, after we got Aaron Gordon, uh, we went into L.A. and played the Clippers on April 1st, and, and we beat them. And at that point in time, I really felt we had a chance to win it all this year. I really did. Uh, that's how well we were playing. And then, unfortunately, the injury bug really hit us hard um, and we weren't able to achieve that goal. But um, hopefully we can have a great offseason, come back, be healthier and find a way to continue to build and rise like we've done these last three years. Vinny Benedetto, Denver Gazette. Hey, Michael. Just how much of this series felt like you guys could could kind of, uh, I guess, determine and how much of it just came down to, to Phoenix playing at a really high level with a with a bunch of guys who who seemed to contribute on both ends. Well, yeah, I mean, we, we knew that going in. We knew this was going to be a completely different animal than Portland. No disrespect to Portland, um, you know, but we knew going in that this was a top six offense and top six defense and. Um, you know, tonight, I think, was by far the most points we scored in the game, 118. Um, so Chris Paul, Devin Booker, unbelievable backcourt, some really good role playing from the other players. Um, you know, and, and I, I just like I wish we could have played them at full strength. You know, you, you take every team's second best player off their roster. You know, uh, how good are they going to be? But you know, no excuses. You know, uh, Monty Williams did a great job. So obviously a lot of respect for Monty, his staff, guys like Willie Green, who I coached, Randy Ayers, Mark Bryant. Uh, they do a terrific job. And uh, you have to give them a lot of credit. They're a very well-coached team, and they have a lot of talent. Uh, Chris Ball could arguably be the greatest point guard of all time. Uh, and you know what? You're having Devin Booker, just a professional bucket getter. So uh, they're, they're, they're going to be a tough out. Uh, so you have to tip your cap to them and, and give them the respect that they deserve. 
Brandon Cristal, KOA Denver. Uh, Coach, not to dwell on it, and I don't, uh, I don't want to try to get you fined, but had we had you mic'd up or heard what happened as soon as we were told Nicola was ejected, what was kind of going through your mind then? And uh, I guess if you can put it into words, you know, kind of how'd you process it? Well, I still haven't processed it, <laughs> to be honest with you. Um, you know, game four, an elimination game at home. Um, before they had determined their, their decision on the flagrant two, I had watched a replay myself on one of the coaches' computers behind the bench. Um, and, and I just assumed, and we all know you should never assume, uh, but I assumed it would be a, a flagrant one at the worst. Um, from my vantage point and watching the replay, I did not think uh, it was a non-basketball play with malicious intent. I think it was a frustration foul. I feel Nicola probably felt the last couple of plays when he had the ball, he had not received a foul call. And, you know, he went over there to, to take a foul, which he's done plenty of times before. A lot of players do that. And I just didn't feel like uh, it warranted a flagrant two ejection because he's making a play on the ball. There was marginal contact to Cameron Payne's nose, I believe. Uh, so I was shocked. I'm still a little bit shocked that they called a flagrant two and ejected the MVP on such a play. Um, I think Mike Singer said that they, a pool reporter may have asked one of the officials. So I'd love to hear what the reply was from those uh, from one of the referees because uh, I'm still trying to figure out uh, the reasoning behind the ejection. Matt Moore, the Action Network. Michael, you've played two playoff runs in 10 months. Uh, you guys were the last of the final four teams to get knocked out. What was it that made you guys last longer than some of those other teams? And with you still got a pretty short off season with where, where the schedule is looking like it's going to be. Do you think with everything and how hard this season was on top of the bubble, as, do you expect there to be carryover effects in the next season? Um, that could very likely be the case, Matt. I mean, um, if you kind of looked at Nikola Jokic's from the bubble, 83 days, in the bubble, Western Conference Finals, two months, short training camp, short preseason, played all 72, um, was incredible against Portland uh, with his starting backcourt not available and was incredible once again in Phoenix as we came up short. Um, so very well, there could be some carryover. Um, I think it's a testament, you know, the fact that Boston, Miami Lakers didn't get out of the first round, obviously, uh, they dealt with similar issues, COVID protocols, injuries. Uh, but I think we were able to rise above it because we have the MVP. I mean, like, you know, Nikola Jokic put his teammates on his back in round one and was otherworldly in that series. And, uh, you know, obviously, you know, in the second series against Phoenix, we just needed more help, more guys to step up. And it wasn't for a lack of effort. Um, so, you know, I, I think we'll, we'll give everybody some time off mentally, physically, and, uh, and hopefully we can start next season uh, fresh and healthy as possible to, uh, to have uh, another run at this thing. All right, we got time for one more. We're going to end with Mark for the Denver Post. Hey, Coach. Uh, congratulations on the hell of a fight. Um, Thank you. Two, two questions. Uh, what, if anything, did you tell uh, – Nicola, after this game, were you able to talk to him? And the more direct one, do you think LeBron gets ejected in the same situation? Uh, I'm not going to touch the second one. <laughs> um, I'll let you write, write on that, kids. Um, you know, I haven't had a chance to speak individually to a lot of our players. You know, one thing I told the group uh, is that I love them all. I appreciate uh, everything they did this year, the fight, uh, the commitment. Uh, and it's really hard, I think, for some people to understand how hard of a year this was. I mean, more so mentally and emotionally than physically. Uh, the physical part is really hard anytime. 72 games, condensed schedule, three and four, back-to-backs, all that. Um, but when you couple the, the density of the schedule, the COVID protocols, the getting tested twice a day, uh, wearing a mask, uh, everything around it, 
coming out of the bubble into this. Uh, this was the hardest season by far for me in 20 years. And I think all of our players would probably say, say the same thing. Um, and, and that's where uh, you have a tremendous amount of pride for what we were able to achieve in light of all that. You know, in light of this not being easy, in light of Jamal Murray, Will Barton, P.J. Dozier not being around in the first round and getting Will back for game three and four against uh, in this series. But, um, you know, Nicola knows this. You know, I love him, support him, believe in him, and we'll go to war with him any day and anywhere. And uh, our challenge is to find a way as an organization to, to continue to help him and put players around him that can ultimately win a championship. You know, uh, what I love about our group, kids, is we have a, an ownership family in, in Josh and Stan Kroenke that, you know, they want to win a championship. You know, we are really passionate about that. And so we have to find ways to, to be better across the board to make that happen. So um, I just want to say thanks to all you guys sticking with, uh, with us all year long, putting up with me after tough losses. I can be a little gruff. I know it's a shock to some of you guys, but I appreciate you guys' uh, professionalism all season long. All right. See you guys soon.